Uh, it's fencer time. So if someone gave me a massive box of these, I, I already fixed some of them, and there's still three more in here. These uh, fences are terrible. They really are. Um, this is uh, an endemic failure with these. Like it's not a one-off. Like this is an actual problem that seems to affect like pretty much all of them. But like they're terrible. One of them, uh, one of these faults with these is liquid damage. Look, the liquid seems to come down that cable and it goes into that socket. But it's the same on all of them, exactly the same thing. This is another unit, same place. Another unit, same place. So essentially these, a the symptom of this is this thyristor gets really hot. You can see that, over 100 degrees C. That thyristor is hot because of a short on the board. And what gets shorted? Well, this little transistor there is what gets shorted. And it gets rather hot. It's actually being protected at the moment by the thyristor. That's why it's gone off. So that is involved with the switching um, of this, of the, the, the pulse basically, and it seems to get shorted out for some reason eventually. So I'm going to take it off, swap it with another one. That's taken off there now. Sold the new one on. Okay. On, changed, working. But it's the same failure on pretty much all of these units. It's it's obviously a design flaw, so they should really be warranting these because it's the same problem on all units. So obviously it's a it's a design problem. It's good decent output on it. High means it's basically over nine point something kilowatts and that's what it's supposed to be anyway, so that's all good. So yeah, there you go. Right, that's that one done. It's got another three and two or three in the box, I think. And then got some more upstairs. Fence that needs fixing. Send me a box like this and we shall get it sorted.